Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Fred Tolan with Invisio, and this is one in a series of online videos that's going to spotlight our tactical communication and hearing protection products, as well as provide tips and tricks for your use. Today we're going to be talking about the X5 in the ear dual headset. The X5 is submersible up to two meters or combat swimmable. It has hearing protection rating of 32 noise reduction rate and 29 single number rating. What do those numbers mean to you? Well, it means that if you're wearing your X5 properly, you're going to be well protected by both European and American standards. So let's get into the nomenclature of the X5 dual in the ear headset. We can see this plastic sleeve that runs around this cable. That's the cable retainer and that's adjustable for comfort. Underneath that, we have the soft spring. That's that little tail that's sticking up. This uh, serves a couple purposes. One, it's gonna keep the X5 in your ear, and two, it's gonna keep a forward tension, forward pressure on the bone conduction microphone, which is how you communicate. These come in three sizes, short, medium, and long, and those sizes are actually represented by dots on the soft spring. They do come out, they're adjustable, so you can switch them out really easy. Uh, however, you may lose them. If you do, it's fine, they're replaceable. We recommend after you have a purchase, maybe put a little dab of glue in it and you'll be good to go. On the other side, we have the hear through mic. You can't actually see the spy mic because it's covered by a windscreen, but underneath there are the actual microphones that allow you to have the 360 degree hear through. Just in front of the hear through mic, we have this little inflatable bladder. That's the bone conduction microphone. The bone conduction microphone is gonna sit against your ear canal and when you talk, it's gonna pick up those vibrations and convert those vibrations into speech, allowing you to have crystal clear communication even in loud environments. Just forward of that, we have the loudspeaker, which is what's gonna push audio from your radio or connected audio device, which is covered by a comply foam tip. Now the comply foam tips come in six sizes. There's three diameters and two lengths. We use two metrics to determine what size comply foam tip you're gonna wear. The first one being diameter, and the second one being depth. Diameter is the size of your ear hole, and depth is how deep it is before your ear bends. If it's shallow, you're gonna wear a short. If it's not shallow, you're gonna wear an original. And then depending on the actual diameter of your ear, there's three more sizes that you can pick from. Each one is color-coded, and it's also threaded. And the reason it's threaded is because it screws on to the X5. By screwing onto the X5 with this threaded core, if for some reason your earpiece gets pulled out of your ear, it's not gonna leave that foam tip behind. So let's talk about donning the X5. The soft springs are color-coded, red and blue. The red soft spring is gonna go in the right ear, the blue one's gonna go in the left. First thing we need to do is compress this comply foam tip. Now this foam tip is heat activated, so when it enters the ear canal, it's gonna expand. So we're gonna need to compress it. Now I like to hold the earpiece with the soft spring facing in the 12 o'clock direction. I then compress the foam tip and I place it in my ear. At this point, I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and reach over with my other hand and pull up on my ear to allow it to seat deeper into the ear canal. Now it's gonna be a little more vertical than I want it. To get the best contact with the bone conduction microphone, I'm gonna want this to be more horizontal in my ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little twist. I'm gonna allow that foam to expand, and then I need to take that soft spring that we talked about and place it under the pinner of the ear, or that little ridge. That's gonna place that forward pressure on the BCM and it's gonna keep it in my ear. If it's too short, it'll pop out. If it's too long, it's gonna cause a hot spot and it's gonna be some discomfort. After I have the soft spring in place, I take the cable retainer, I place it around my ear, and there's two things we're looking for. The first, we wanna make sure the soft spring is in place, and the second thing, we wanna make sure that the bone conduction microphone is not visible. If you can see that bone conduction microphone, it's not deep enough in the air canal and that is gonna impede your ability to communicate because the bone conduction microphone is not gonna be able to pick up those vibrations. It's not gonna be able to convert them to speech. If you put on your headset and you feel as though you're wearing it properly, but your bone conduction microphone still isn't working, you can go ahead and remove your X5 and you can place it against any bone on your head, your forehead, your jaw, your throat, anything that creates a vibration and do a comm check. If the communication comes through crystal clear, then it's the way you were donning your X5. If it doesn't, 
then we're going to want to look at this inflatable bladder to see if there's any rips or tears. Now, once I've properly donned my X5, the only thing I need to do is put it into my control unit. In this case, we're using the V10. Red dot to red dot on the connector. And then all I have to do is turn on the powered comms. The X5 has no internal battery, so just like the control unit, it's going to rely on whatever it's connected to to power it. When I'm ready to take off my X5, I like to grab the cable retainers and just pull out. Taking care of your X5 dual in the ear headset is really simple. If you have any residue on the outside of it, you can take a warm lint-free cloth and wipe it down. It's also possible to submerge it in water because these are two meters submersible. So if it's exposed to salt water, that's something that we recommend. We don't want to use anything that's high pressure, so just under running water, don't use a garden hose or anything with a lot of pressure. As far as drying it, you can air dry it with the tips facing down. Uh, just don't use compressed air. If you want to dry them with canned air, that's fine, but compressed air has uh, particulates of moisture and rust that can be pushed into your X5. You don't want to damage it. As far as your comply foam tips, they should be switched out every two to four weeks, but that's two to four weeks of use. So if you're only wearing them one, two hours at a time, they're going to last a long time. Uh, I would recommend always having spares on hand just in case they do get sweaty, you'll be able to switch them out. As far as the foam tip itself, you can just go ahead and wipe it down and uh, remove any cerumen or earwax that may be on the outside of it. When you're placing it on your gear, you obviously don't want anything to be heavy uh, sitting on top of it. You want it to be in a dry ventilated area. The protective case that we provide has uh, holes on the side that you can place the headset within, leaving the cables outside, close it, and then you can just hang it off of your gear where it'll be completely safe until the next time that you need to use it. That sums it up for this video of the X5 dual in the ear headset. I hope you found this helpful and informative. If you have any questions, feel free to check out our website, and thank you for watching.